Welcome! In this tutorial, we'll start creating our player character. This will be done in two parts. In this first part, we'll create the player scene. And in the next one, we'll create a script and start implementing the functionality. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we're back. First, I'll create a new folder to store my player scene. I'm gonna create a folder called characters and inside characters I'll create one more folder called player and in this game we're only gonna have one, one character but for some reason if you decide to add more characters you can add them under this folder next I'll create a new scene and this scene will have a rigid body 2D as its root node we'll call it player Let's add a sprite and a collision shape 2D. I'm going to drag my texture into the sprite. And as you can see, my texture is actually a sprite sheet, which has all the animation frames that we need inside of it. For that reason, I'm going to go under the animation and set my horizontal frames to 3. Next, I'm going to create a shape for my collision shape. And I'm just going to use a regular old circle shape here. About up to here. Next, I'm going to add an animation player. And we're only going to need two animations for our player. We're going to create an idle animation and that's going to be played before we start flapping. And we're, all, we're also going to have a flap animation, which we're going to play once we start flapping. I'll create the first animation, call it idle. This is going to be auto played and it will also loop. So for idle, I'm going to animate the position of the sprite to give like a flying effect to the bird. And to do that, let's go to the sprite nodes, transform property, and let's set the Y value to negative five. And we'll key this. And let's click on point five on the animation timeline and let's set the position Y value to five and let's also key this. If you start the animation, you can see that it's going up and down, but it looks a bit rigid. We want, we want it to look more fluid and smooth. So let's set the interpolation mode to cubic. And as you can see, it's much more fluid. It looks better. Now let's start creating the flap animation. For flap, we're just gonna animate the frame property of our sprite. So I'm gonna create a new keyframe and I'm gonna key the next two frames as well. And oops, this has to start from point 0.1, point 0.2, okay. And this is, gonna, this is actually gonna take only 0.3 seconds and this will also loop. If we start the animation, you can see that our bird is flapping. But as you can see, the position of the sprite is messed up because of the idle animation that we just made. Idle changes the position of the sprite, but let's say we stopped the animation here Clearly the sprite is in the wrong position, but nothing is actually fixing this. Once we switch to flap, flap isn't correcting the position of the sprite. That's why at the beginning of flap, we need to set the position back to zero, zero. So I'll just reset the position and create a keyframe here. And now if we switch to idle, play, stop, the sprite is in the wrong position and if you go back to flap, boom, it's back in zero, zero, which is what we want. Finally, let's save our scene, which I sometimes forget, <laughs> under characters, player, save, done. 
and this tutorial is also done. We created our player scene, we added the nodes that we need and in the next tutorial we'll start writing some code and implement the functionality of our player. I'll see you in the next one.